How to add staff account on Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if you would like to add staff accounts to your Shopify store in order for them to manage your store or help you out with certain parts like sales or orders or just editing your store itself, then yeah, you can do that. So let's just get started right away. So what you need to do is be in your home uh, admin, then go to the settings. Once you are here in the settings, you need to go to the users and permissions. Once you are here, you can already see staff. For me, it says zero out of five. Now, if it says that you need to change your plan or and, and compare the plans, then that just means that you probably have the basic plan. Now over here, as you can see, we can see the basic plan. We can also see the Shopify plan, which I currently have. They do differ in price, as you can see, but the basic one is meant for solo entrepreneurs. And the Shopify version, it says five additional staff accounts. And you need to yeah go with the second option. Now, if you do plan on upgrading your plan to the Shopify plan from the basic plan, then please click on the link in the description of this YouTube video or the pinned comment down below. This will bring you over to this page. Here you can either enter your email address over here or um, simply just go back and then upgrade your plan because that will also help me out greatly once you've clicked on the link. So it's pretty much a win-win for both of us. Once you have selected the second option or you do have the second option, then here we can actually start to add staff. So click on the uh, add staff button. And then right here at the top, we need to enter their first name, last name and their email. Now here we can see the store permissions. You want to scroll down and here we can see pretty much all of the permissions as well as app permissions, as well as the access to point of sale. So here we can drop down the um, uh, order section and we can simply select any permission we, for example, would like to. Now keep in mind, if you, for example, select all permissions, it will give you a warning. Sensitive permissions, you're granting sensitive permissions that can significantly affect your stores. So if you click on show permissions, here we can see, for example, that this is a sensitive permission, this one as well, this one, this one. So if you do not want that, um, then you can disable those and keep all of the other uh, permissions on. But you can also just simply uh, turn all of the permissions off and then go to specific parts. For example, you want someone to only manage your orders. Then you can do that over here. And here you can even, for example, disable delete. Let's say you don't, do not want that person to be able to delete your orders. Um, you can do that as well. And you can uh, let them, for example, make discounts. Um, what else? What else? Well, this is kind of just it really. Let's say you want the person to only be able to edit your online store and not your discounts or uh, orders. Then you can do that as well. So once you are happy with all of these settings, like for example, the app permissions, you want to go ahead and um, enter their names. Then once you've done that, you want to click on send invite. The other person will now receive this email over here. It says uh, this invitation will expire in seven days. Create staff account. Then right over here, that person has to choose an account or create a new one. Then they need to select all any of these. Then they need to fill everything here in, as you can see, and then create their account. Once they have that account, they um, will now be a staff in your store. Now you can always edit everything about them. So if you click on their blue name, it's clickable. This will bring you over here and here you can edit everything. So you can add a bio, you can add uh, their personal website. Uh, you can allow important notifications to be sent by email. And the most important part, you can edit all of the permissions, as you can see. So you can still, uh, for example, let's say you didn't want that. You can still um, disable this if you would like that. And then, for example, enable the finance. 
and then disable these. So you can pretty much edit everything. You can even uh, give them permission. And then here all the way at the bottom, you can remove the person as a staff member so they will not be a staff member anymore. So that is pretty much it. That is how to add staff account on Shopify.